Dear friends, there has been recent talks about the EV, especially for two wheelers and four wheelers, where everybody is being bullish about the latest EV development and purchasing the EV for their own use. I consider it to be my duty that, with whatever little knowledge I have, to let you know that you are actually saving the money or not, or if you are an environmental lover, so are you really doing something good to the environment by purchasing an EV? Firstly, we will try to understand about the saving of the environment by way of carbon emission that you would be doing if you buy a two-wheeler or a four-wheeler. When we talk about an EV, the very first thing that comes into our mind is that an electric vehicle is eco-friendly, it creates less pollution, it keeps the environment greener and safer, and most importantly, it is cost-effective. But what if I told you that the EV destroys the environment first and then over a period of time it can actually start saving it confusing isn't it so to understand this concept let's have a look at the blog which is written by Zex Hoff's father who is a climate scientist and a director at Breakthrough Institute which is an environmental research think tank in his article he has quoted that Producing a 75 kilowatt per hour battery for a Tesla Model 3, considered on the larger end of the batteries for electric vehicles, would result in the emission of 4,500 kilograms of CO2 if it was made at Tesla's battery factory in Nevada. That's the emission equivalent to driving a gas-powered sedan for 1.4 years at a yearly average distance of 12,000 miles. Further, he says, if the battery were made in Asia. Manufacturing it would produce 7,500 kg of carbon dioxide, or the equivalent of driving a gasoline-powered sedan for 2.4 years. Hoff's father said the larger emission amount in Asia can be attributed to its higher carbon electricity mix. The continent relies more on coal for energy production, while Tesla's Nevada factory uses some solar energy. दोस्तों जब भी आप इलेक्ट्रॉनिक प्रोजेक्ट बनाते हैं या कोई इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंपोनेंट बनाते हैं उसका जो मेन पार्ट रहता है वो है पीसीबी पीसीबी डिजाइन करते समय आपको बहुत प्रिसाइसली डिजाइन करना पड़ता है तो वर्ल्ड का सबसे बेस्ट जो सॉफ्टवेयर यूज आता है पीसीबी डिजाइन के लिए वो है एल्टम डिजाइनर इसके बाद आप काफी अच्छे से पीसीबी डिजाइन कर सकते हैं और काफी यूजर फ्रेंडली है और इसमें पिछले पैंतीस सालों में इनोवेशन और डेवलपमेंट के बाद आज सिस्टम वर्ल्ड का सबसे ज्यादा यूज करने वाला पीसीबी डिजाइनिंग सिस्टम बन चुका है इसमें आप पीसीबी डिजाइन छोटे से के छोटे डिटेलिंग में कर सकते हो अगर आप इंटरेस्टेड है पीसीबी डिजाइनिंग में तो यहाँ पे आपको फ्री ट्रायल का मैं लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे दूंगा डू चेक करें नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द बैटरी मोस्ट ऑफ द इंपोर्ट ऑफ द बैटरी हैपेंस फ्रॉम एशिया दैट इज चाइना कोरिया जापान एंड दे आर लार्जली डिपेंडेंट ऑन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेटेड फ्रॉम कोल इंडिया इज आल्सो डिपेंडेंट ऑन कोल फॉर जनरेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी so we need to understand that we are burning a lot of fuel and a lot of carbon is generated even to produce electricity we all think that if we use electric vehicle it is saving the environment but this is a very strong misconception that we have electricity is responsible for the destruction of the environment with this i would like to tell you that those who are environment lovers should not remain under the impression that buying an ev they are saving the environment this could be done only if you are a heavy user of your vehicle now let's understand when do we actually start saving the environment when we talk about riding the bike for 30000 kilometers that means that you are riding the vehicle for 28 kilometers every day 10000 kilometers in a year and at the same time you're discounting your holidays trips and the non use days then you will be riding the vehicle 10000 kilometers in a year and then you would have ridden the vehicle 30000 kilometers in 3 years so practically for the first 3 years you're not saving the environment as the emission which has been produced while producing the battery is just covered when you ride the vehicle for 30000 kilometers only after the third year if your vehicle or the battery last more than 3 years or 50000 kilometers then you can say that you feel or you have been saving the environment now let's talk about the money you are trying to save when you purchase an ev 
most of the branded EVs are sold mostly at 1 to 1.5 lakhs. So let's say if you're spending 2.5 rupees on a kilometer on a petrol bike, then for 30,000 kilometers, you're saving 75,000 rupees. So unless you ride 50,000 kilometers, you're not recovering the cost of the vehicle, which means even if you ride the bike 28 kilometers per day on average, then also it would take a minimum five years to recover your money, which means it is not so lucrative when you look at it from a cost saving point of view. Also, another thing that we are all aware of is that EV do not have any reselling value and most of them are useless after three years. When we talk about the batteries, most manufacturers give a warranty of 30,000 kilometers. Very few give more than that. Still, there are some savings, but for that savings, what you are compromising is the question that comes in. You are compromising going on long rides, if you are going out of cities for the weekends, and if you are planning to go on a holiday. These things are not possible on an EV. You will need a petrol vehicle for that. Second thing which you are compromising is the flexibility. That you can go anytime, anywhere, to any distance which at present is not possible in an EV. Because at present, we do not have many charging stations or battery swapping stations available. And especially, it's problematic in those vehicles that have fixed batteries. You need to have charging stations for that. And those charging stations are very limited. So the purpose of my video is to make you educated, to make you aware about the fact that if your use is less, technically you do not save anything. The environment, the society, your future, you're not ever doing any good for your own pocket because you do save some money. But in return, you're compromising on the flexibility, the quality and the peace of mind. The range anxiety is known to everyone. My point is, EV is largely beneficial for commercially oriented vehicles like tourist cabs, taxis or delivery vehicles. Also now that people have been talking about airplanes running on battery, that is also going to make a huge difference because they are going to be useful for them, providing them with long range. अपने आइटम डिजाइनर का फ्री ट्रायल वर्जन यूज नहीं किया है तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक है डू डाउनलोड करें अगर आपको जितने भी एफएक्यूज और जितने भी क्वेश्चन आंसर्स रहते हैं उनके वेबसाइट पे सारी चीजें हैं आप वो भी चेक कर सकते हैं तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक है डू चेक करें मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में